The Honorable Kamla Prasad Bisesar, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. The Right Honorable Stephen Harper, Prime Minister of Canada. Honorable Ministers, Senators, and Members of Parliament. High Commissioners and Consul General, Ms. Marina Jimenez, our President, and distinguished guests all. On behalf of the Canadian Council for the Americas, I am honored to welcome all of you here tonight for a celebration of the strength and the depth of the relationship between Canada and Trinidad Tobago. Madam Prime Minister, welcome to our Canadian Kalalu. <laughs> In Canada, we call it our cultural mosaic, but the concept is the same. Our countries share a basic belief that our strength comes from the diversity of our people and our ability to meld their contributions. To paraphrase David Rudder, <laughs> the great Calypsonian who has lived in Canada for a decade, from Tobago to Toronto, all we is Kalalu. <laughs> Our countries enjoy deep social, political, and economic ties. The Canadian-Caribbean partnership with Trinidad and Tobago as a key partner is unique in the Americas. It is founded on centuries of close commercial and cultural relations. Canada has been enriched by the energy and vitality of over 100,000 Trinbagonians. Canadian investment in Trinidad Tobago has reached 1.36 billion and bilateral trade alone last year was almost 600 million dollars. But beyond the statistics, both of our countries have made outsized and unique contributions in the worlds of academia, literature, music and sports. Canadians study Trinidadians' historians. We celebrate its world-renowned authors. And as sun-starved Canadian snowbirds can only do, we dance with abandon to the carnival rhythms. Perhaps with the caribbean stag in hand as well. <laughs> and soon, we expect the Trinidadian coach of our men's national cricket team will mold the first Canadian Prince Brian Lara. After all, our founding father, Sir John A. Macdonald, declared cricket to be Canada's national sport a century and a half ago. Undoubtedly, Madam Prime Minister, you have found Canada shares your aspiration as your party's platform proclaims of prosperity for all. Canadians identify profoundly with your commitment at home and internationally to protect human rights. We share deeply your view of the fundamental importance of improving and strengthening women's condition throughout the world. <laughs> Mr. Prime Minister, it's a great honor to welcome you to the Canadian Council for the Americas. Your presence today underscores your government's priority commitment to the Americas, a vision based on a neighborhood of flowing trade, prosperity, democracy and good government, fair and responsible social policy, long-term sustainable de development and security. Canada is a constructive and sober actor throughout the Caribbean and Latin America. As you appreciate, Mr. Prime Minister, Canada counts Trinidad and Tobago as a staunch ally 
in bilateral, regional, and multilateral dealings, both political and in the economic sphere. Because of our long-standing ties to Trinidad and Tobago and the rest of the Caribbean, Canada has unique opportunities to contribute and important interests to pursue in advancing the region's economic and security goals. The Canadian Council for the Americas understands that success in reaching these goals takes time. We also believe that a lot can be accomplished sooner than later and through government and private sector collaboration. Canadians from the private sector are eager to continue their participation in this endeavor with its Trinbagonian partners. And in closing, Mr. and Madam Prime Minister, let me say that you can count on the Canadian Council for the Americas and its many stakeholders to support and promote your efforts to energize the key relationship between Canada and Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you.